The family is the basic unit of society as it forms the most important structure where children are shaped and prepared to face the external world. Parenting is a very important ingredient in molding behavior and imparting social skills during the formative years necessary in instilling morals, self-discipline and responsibilities in children. Between 0 to 8, those are children who are in ECD level of education. They need uh, education as well as they're going through a number of uh, developmental processes and there's need to support them uh, acquire the developmental milestones that they critically need for growth. However, the services currently offered are merely learning services, preparing the child to join primary education, but which are exorbitant and unaffordable for many parents. As a result, children from many families are missing out on this crucial service. Initially, parents used to think when these children go to ECD, they have just gone to play. Of course, playing is part of learning, but for them, they were saying, like, now playing is not learning. So they were just looking at it as, let them just go there and play. So then that way, they will not contribute to their learning materials, they will not contribute food, they will not even pay the ECD uh, teachers, and that was not helping the growth and development of the center, and by extension, was not helping the education of their children. Furthermore, despite a limited number providing food aid, health, immunization and nutrition counseling, the ECDs have not integrated parenting skills, information or education services. In 2013, PAN rolled out Early Learning and Family Support Project, a pilot program on integration of ECD and parenting in Navaholo and Bunyala, Kakamega County. The project was geared towards reaching out to families and providing skills that could enhance parent-child attachments. When we talk about the social services that, we, that were integrated into the ECD project, we would talk about education, which is in, in, in the programmatic languages, ECDE, we talk about health and nutrition. But for the project, we were very specific to have health separately and nutrition separately. We talked about um, registration and then parental involvement. And this was supposed to ensure that it was around the child, you know. The child was at the center and all the players around the child were then involved. Vile watoto wanaisapata chakula mzuri yenye iko balanced diet vile hao watoto wakiwa na shitwa vile tunaweza handle hao watoto vile tusikuwe na conflict kwa nyumba ndipo sa is affect brains ama watoto kutokuwa stable vile tunaweza kuwa free na watoto mtoto pia akuwe free na wewe ndo akikuwa free lolote linalomfinya akuwe free kuelezea vile kuko na umpatulie i learned about how to care about the young ones from home to school, about nutrition and how we should be way about or stay at home with the, our spouse. In the rural area, we were very specific about nutrition. So we partnered with um, Calro that gave yellow flesh, sweet potato vines. Project participating parents would be given to go plant at home and some would be planted in school. Iyo potato enye mudutuletea, watoto wakikula, ata ukiuliza walimu wa nasari. At least watoto wame develop kitu fulani. Watoto wako active darazani, watoto ukiuliza maswali mbio mbio wanachipu, mutoto wa yuko dali kiwanjana anacheza, mutoto ata yule mwenye anakuwanga ukifundisha akosilo kwa kuelewa, a number of schools, they are not just giving any meal. They have enriched children porridge. It is not just maize flour, but it's enriched porridge, which has a high nutritional value. They have added uh, things like soya beans. They are, they are also giving a porridge of uh, wimby, which means they, they have also understood the, the importance of a nutritional, a nutritional requirement for the child for better education. The guardian is the most influential in a child's life. 
as is the home and family environment, which impacts a child's cognitive development and emotional well-being. Therefore, children need to develop their full potential with the help of their guardians. Skillful parenting seeks to address and facilitate strong family relations and child well-being. One of the uh, modules that we also took parents through was positive discipline. And, pos and we were very specifically specific to call it positive discipline. Because there's discipline and then there's positive discipline. And this was from the just general thought that if you hit a child, a child begins to feel like I've already paid for that crime. What our positive discipline aspect was, was to instill values. And how do you instill those values? And how do you make them stick? So under the discipline umbrella, we noticed that there was a lot of improvement between um, parents and their own children from the aspect of discipline. <laughs> Pan working in strategic partnership with Action for Child Development Trust, ACDT, and the Raja Civic Initiatives Forum has scaled up the project and also ensured continuity of the project beyond the project period. With the such a successful program that has brought to fore evidence that uh, integrated uh, ECD program is workable, it benefits the children well, then uh, this can be taken uh, to the next level, have policies that cut, cut across the regions that uh, are favorable to children, have uh, policies that govern learning institutions that benefit children as well, and also strongly bring in the element of having parents involved in the learning process of their children. The parents are very positive. They used to throw bad words on us. Maybe we wanted to eat their money, we are hungry, but now they are responding and giving out whatever we need in good faith. And it normally helps us. Even the materials they have tried to make, Integrated ECD approach is a revolution that Africa needs to ensure that its children reach their full potential.